Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the Lego Batman movie, Two-Face Double Demolition. This is how far we made it in part one. If you missed it, check it out. There's a link down below. We have three minifigures. We have the um, Bat-Hawk, basically the Batman motorcycle. And we've begun the excavator. Looks like we got about halfway done with it. But you see there's quite a bit of work still left to go. So that's kind of where we're going to pick up on this build. So I'm going to move that to the side. So um, we're beginning instruction book number two. It's a good size instruction book. And we have two more parts, or two more bags of parts. We have a bag four and a bag five yet to go. Let's go ahead and get bag four parts out. Everything where I can see it, and then there's a small bag of parts in that bag that has a lot of parts in it. That is the majority of the parts for this bag is in that really small bag. All right, so let's zoom in a bit because we're not putting anything on on this part just yet. It looks like we're going to build a little sub assembly and then attach it to it. Start with these Technic bricks. We're gonna slide a long axle with a stop all the way through there. And then we have a another long axle with a stop that's just slid on this one brick. And then we'll put them back to back. They actually stay in place without any other assistance. So here we have these little round plates, or they're modified plates with the, the half round at the end. Couple friction pins, and then this piece. I really like these pieces, they help make the models significantly sturdy. I always forget about them when I do my own creations, so I need to start remembering them and trying to incorporate them more into my mocks. Alright, so we have these white pieces that are modified brick slash plate. So we have white on one side, and then we're going to do the black on the other side. Because it is Two-Face, and all of his vehicles usually are split in half with the colors. Alright, so the 2x3 tile. So this tile is new for 2017. The first set it came out in is the LEGO Ideas Cataram set. And throughout the year, because the Cataram came out early in 2017, but throughout the year, um, all the new sets, not all of them, but a lot of the new sets, have been incorporating the the two by three tile. So I always like to see a new part that is widely used. That way, if you buy a lot of sets, it starts to become a, a common piece in your part assortment. And you can incorporate it into some of your own builds, which I'll eventually do. I haven't necessarily been using any tiles in a lot of my creations lately, but you never know. It may happen soon. Alright, so I forgot to put a piece on. It's a critical piece. This plate has to go here because it raises that Technic pin up by one-third height. 
and that will allow this Technic left arm to fit on there. Okay, so sticker number 14. And this is just going to go right here on the end. That piece goes there. That slides in. We have two Technic bushings. Right there. So we have the lights over here, but nothing over here. Not sure if we're going to put something over there or not, but it seems to be that is intentional. more Technic pieces, these white and black, or black and white, oops, dropping it, these little thin lift arms, these one by two thin lift arms are actually one of the hardest pieces to put on, because they have an extremely high amount of clutch power on those axles and it makes it hard for it to slide down an axle. So if you're building this at home and it feels really tight, that's the way it's designed to be. I wish they would give it a little bit more tolerance, but they don't. All right. So this Looks good. Bring this back over. Slide that in there. Now we have this white piece. It slides in on that side with our next sticker, sticker number 17. finish this side off if I can find the piece we're looking for. There it is. So this is just like the other side. We put that three long lift arm on and then two bushings. All right, move that to the side for now. We have more Technic pieces. yellow color. This black plate that we're going to put the little mixel joints on. And it's a modified plate with the Technic pinholes in the side. three long thin lift arm. Put these two three long axles on. That'll slide there. And on the other side we will sandwich the other one right there. On 
this side we have more of these Technic pins. These are the pins that have the stud on the end. Seven long axle with bushing, a half bushing. Okay. So this piece, zoom out a bit. Shows this rotated up like that. Sliding this axle through and that pin attaches right in there. All right, move that to the side. Looks like we're gonna build something very similar on the other side, just a different color scheme. that's not right. No, it is right. So the top here has the brown and then they have the gray here and the gray's on the bottom and they have the brown there. I was looking at the picture on the cover of the box and it does show that alternating color like that. It didn't seem quite right to me, but I'm following the instructions on how to build this. If I was building this on my own, I would have changed that around, but it's not what this video is for. All right, so let's slide that piece on. We have the other one here. Now we're gonna do a couple clips. By double wide bow shape and more of our pins with the stud there all right so that lines up perfectly there put the half pushing on there We have our next sticker, sticker number 19. That goes there. And another sticker. It says Falcons Legit Construction Company. I don't know about all that. All right, so that's that sticker. Go right there. So you see the those pins with the studs are really nice because you can connect those bricks to it. So this moves up and down fairly easily. So we get to bring this piece over and you can see there's these pieces that line up. So we're gonna line those holes up. You see those, those holes right in the middle line up. Slide an axle through there. And then on the underside of that axle, put this bushing so that creates our articulated steering for the excavator. So it shows this rotated over a couple pieces on.
these little ribbed hose pieces are not my favorite pieces to put on they look good once they're on but getting those technic pins on there can be very frustrating at times yeah once it's on there I like the look of it all right so we have these inverted bow shapes seem to be a little tricky all right so we're getting close still doesn't quite look like I mean it's starting to look like an excavator we have our our wheels I mean our axles we don't have the wheels on there yet um, you can tell this is where the the bucket piece is gonna go and then we just have a pretty generic body so we're gonna finish this up with our fifth and final bag right now all right we have everything for our final bag out ready to go we have our final minifigure and it is two-face so we wait till the very end to build the main character for the set so pretty simple as far as construction of the set of the minifigure it's just head torso legs and the hair piece so he does have a double printed face you can see this is kind of the scared or screaming face and then this is the angry face i actually like the angry face and then of course on this side it's the the mutated side and this is the unaffected side and he's going to be carrying one of the coolest weapons that I think our Lego makes. It's this Tommy gun style weapon. I don't have many of these in my collection. I think I have a handful of them, but probably no more than 10. That's a really cool weapon piece. So move him over there with our other three minifigures. So where are we gonna begin with this? Let me First, move these over. I'm actually going to move this closer so I can move this guy over. Alright, so with this in the view, start with these little two by two dishes. And then we have these studs that have the hole in the top, the hollow studs. Headlight brick, a cheese slope, one by one plate, piece will go there, and that will go there. So that's why there's that clip there. It helps hold that little bar piece on and that thing won't come off. safety railing type piece two of the trans red cheese slopes tiles going all the way down here slotted tiles this piece will attach on the back here so that finishes off that back piece there we have a 
steering wheel in here. And this looks like some sort of radiator fan. That's the radiator right there. All right, so this is kind of cool. So these two pieces were loose in the box when we originally opened the set. And you can see there's a bar connector piece at both ends. What we're gonna do is slide those through these Technic pins that are exposed. Just like that. And we'll bring the other end up and attach it through the top of that dish. So it basically has a bar hole on the top. Those both like that. That's really cool. I like the way that looks. I was just admiring it. All right, so here's some clear window panels. We have this black frame with this trans purple little window panel in there. Black piece with the clips and the bar. And then we have the white one with the clips and a light bluish gray bar. All right, next sticker. It's sticker number seven. It's a white on white sticker, but it gives you the six, six, four, two numbers. Not quite sure what those numbers refer to. Maybe someone in the audience can let me know by putting a comment down below. And then the sticker is just some tattered and worn metal looking pieces. All right, getting close. It's definitely starting to look like a excavator now. This is sticker number 11. This sticker basically splits this tile into the two different colors that we see for the body. I'll go right there so you can see the black and the white. Some clips. We have the white clips on this side and the black ones on this side. Now we have these two little minifigure stands, one in white, one in black. Put a little assortment of pieces there. Turn this over to tan anti-tiles. And two hollow studs. In the top of those hollow studs, we'll put these light pieces. And that will finish off the top of the excavator. This is a little light piece. We'll go there. And here's another light part. We 
have that ladder piece and this. Well, this should be scooted over a bit so it'll actually fit on here. Alright. I show a one to one diagram of that in the instructions. Let me show you. I actually just noticed that after I put it on there. But you can line it up on there and make sure that you have that ladder piece clipped on. In the right spot. Okay. So we have our little rotary stud launcher gun. Put the little trigger in there, which is the click of no return. Once it clicks in, it's not coming out. Here's the axle that will rotate that trigger piece. That will go there. Alright, what's next? Two of these one by ones with a clip on the top. Interesting little detail. We're going to put this black whip. Attach the handle piece on the clips. Since it's kind of like a flex hose, we'll just bring that end down and attach it in there. Not a fan of that per se because I like the shape of the whip and then you're just kind of bending it to be not the shape of the whip but I'm just gonna go with it there's two spikes on there all right so now we need to create the connector piece for the bucket Here's the bucket and some stickers. Sticker number one will go over here. And we have sticker 13. It's an interesting sticker. It's kind of like some debris on the inside of the bucket. Rotate this around. More stickers under here. All right. Guess what time it is? That's right. Last sticker time. Really was quite a bit of stickers in the set, but until we got to this part, I thought all the other stickers were pretty, pretty subtle and added some nice detailing. I'm not so sure about these. This really just kind of clutters up this bucket. All right, so slide all these other pieces on. And these will get the Technic pins that have the toe ball piece on the end. Bring that over and those toe balls go into those little mixel joints. That right there. So that allows that to Rotate pretty freely. All right, so now we have our 
big wheels and tires. The tires came in the unnumbered bag when we opened up this box. If you saw part one, you, you know what I'm talking about. And then these wheels came in the final bag of parts. In case you fast forwarded to this part. Who fast forwards during my videos? Let me know. Do you watch the whole video or do you fast forward? I don't mind if you fast forward. Sometimes I watch videos that I fast forward to the end. So. Curious to hear what everyone does. Alright, this is the last wheel and tire. So. We're putting two on this side. There's one, there's two. And then we have these two pulley wheels that go over that axle. And we're gonna put these little knuckle gears on there as well. Before we do that, we have these little teeth and then these blade pieces. Repeat those. Go one, two, two more blades. Come on, get in. There we go. All right, so those both go there. And the last thing we have are these little gears. Just act as little axle covers. Right there and right there. Very good. So we'll turn this around. Final two wheels and tires go over here. That is if I can line them up. And these just get little bushings in there. Our last little piece we're gonna add are these trans purple studs. That is the ammo for this rotary stud launcher gun. Rotate that a bit so I can get this one on. Okay, very good. Once again, quite a few extra pieces. A lot of them are extra ammo pieces. And then we have some studs, slopes, etc. So there we go. That is the cool little two-face demolition excavator. So we can pop the little rooftop off like that. Put his gun back there. And we can have him sitting in the driver's seat. There he is in there, operating the excavator. It's pretty cool. It has um, articulated steering, which surprisingly works pretty well. You just kind of rotate the back end a little bit and it steers it. The bucket itself has a little bit of articulation. You can see it goes up and down and then the actual bucket can dump or um, raise up a scoop of whatever it's picking up. And I like the detail of the simulated engine back here. And of course the hose is nice. So the other part of the set that we don't want to forget about is the uh, Bat-Hawk, Batman's motorcycle. And our two Gotham City 
police officers. And there's a couple of barricades too. So there you go. That is it for this one. So tell me your thoughts. Put a comment down below. Appreciate you guys watching. If you watch both parts, let me know. Um, my biggest fans usually watch both parts and they watch the whole video. So let me know if you're my biggest fan. And uh, yeah, I shouldn't have to tell you to subscribe because you're already subscribed. But if there's a new viewer here and um, this is a new video to you, then make sure to subscribe. I do a ton of Lego build videos. I've already got hundreds on my channel already. So um, check them all out. And we will see you in the next one.